Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again for CRD 3.0 beta uh, kind of mash review. I have been busy doing my own thing, so I haven't been able to take a look at all the betas uh, individually uh, in uh, their own videos. So we're going to kind of do it all at once here and just see what's up. Some of the patch notes say the hydras have been made stronger. Uh, all the bodies you see here should be more or less complete. And ready for release. Uh, I don't know what still needs to be done. I, uh, other than the file size needs to be shrunk down. Right now this version is 3.5 gigabytes. Uh, just for one mod. It's insane. I think it's going to be shrunk down to 2.5. Maybe 2.6. Around that area. Uh, believe, it or not, believe it or not. It's just the thumbnails that make it so big. Uh, thumbnails in high quality do not compress. <laughs> really at all. So let us begin. We got the stunt truck here on CD3. I'll go over each of the body patch notes as they arrive. So for all the bodies, they should uh, all have supports. So that's good. We're on a custom uh, 2022 World Finals esque map. I think Salina's 2022. It's a cool map. It's out right now. Get some big air. I want to test the hydro strength mostly. Where can I do that? Landing terribly here? That'll work. Yeah. Hydros still work, even though we literally chucked out a four-link bar. <laughs> that four-link went to bye-bye. It's on vacation. Don't worry about where it is. So I, I think the real-life stunt trick is on the woman chassis, but uh, this is based off of the toy. So, all the toys are basically based off CRD, so uh, it's on CRD 3 because I guess it fits the best. Let's take a look at how it breaks. I am noticing that the Hydras are a lot stronger now. That's good. These small impacts I used to just destroy steering before. No longer seem to be doing that. Let's get a look at how this breaks. Uh, as for all the paints, I am pretty sure most of these have been done by Geo. So great work, Geo. I love the 3D Macho Jam logo. That actually is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and reset you. Oh, I didn't mean that much of a reset. I wanted to take a look at the J-Beam. It looks like the side text, the 3D logo, is uh, more or less just there. I don't think it's J-Beamed too much, if at all. I think it's part of the body, actually. So, oh well. Next up is Yeti. Uh, this body, I think, is taken from Steel Titans. I think some of these bodies are. Some of these are custom made or custom updated as well. In Steel Titans, I remember the fire and ice trucks could have really cool particle effects. That was the only thing I liked about Steel Titans was the particle effects. And I think we could do something similar in Beam, but it would just basically destroy your FPS because of all the particles being emitted. So I'm, I don't think that'll be implemented. The face of uh, Yeti does seem to get thrown off very easily just by impacting the tires. I don't think there's too much you could be done about that. Maybe make the uh, face not self-collidable so that it won't self-collide with 
the tires, but uh, maybe that would make it not break properly otherwise, so, I don't know. I do have a stupid idea to put the Yeti face on the zombie body, just as a meme. It would be, it would, it would be cursed. But it would be cool. I don't know. How does this body break? It looks like it's split down the middle like some of the other big single piece bodies. Like Maxi. Alright. We can still break the steering. It's not invincible. It is just more resilient. So that's good to see. Uh, as for your preset changes, all the trucks should have Monster Jam sounds and spawn with a driver nowadays. You might find the odd one not doing that, but that might be because it's in, like, Mike Bev's pack or something. I, I know he used to, like, the stock sounds and not the driver. So, yeah. All base mod presets should be Monster Truck sounds and with a driver installed. I guess I'll just leave you there. Next up is Iron Man and War Machine. I don't think the JB Mon these is finished yet, so we might see some odd behavior. But the paints are done, and they look really good. I think the lights are also done. Looks like the lights just are on whenever the truck is on. Oh. Yeah, that, that is the case. I was like, is that true? Yeah. They're just so uh, light without the light that I thought they were always on. That is not the case. Oh, my. <laughs> I think the only thing holding on that front axle is a sway bar. How do I? <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, uh, man. Good times. I can do, finally do this again. Take a look at this. Even though it's not connected really at all, we can still steer. Oh. Well, I got it off, but I wanted it to still be connected so I could steer. Oh, well. But yeah, you, you can actually just uh, steer while the axle is completely broken off. It was a common thing in early testing for the more breakable sp suspension. I didn't think I would see it again though. I wonder if the four links have been made weaker to compensate for the stronger hydros. Yep, Iron Man body. Looking good. It breaks good. We'll just add you to the pile back here, I guess. And War Machine is the same body, so let's go ahead and take a look at the J-Beam. Uh, you can see where there's a gap between the taillight area, thruster area, whatever, and the main cab. That still needs to be complete. So if we see any weird spikiness with the taillight area, that is why. I haven't seen it yet, but I haven't driven it too much. Although, I have had it happen on, like, landing a sky wheelie. So let's see if I can still get that to happen. So yeah, if we squish the back end at all, it does like to do that. It'll be fixed, though. I wonder if it can be fixed if we, like, hit it again. I, that's what I tried to do there, but it didn't seem to work out. Maybe with enough impacts or attempts, it'll fix itself, or maybe it won't. Oh. Okay, that went better than I thought. I thought we would get some fire from that impact. We'll just 
park you back here since we already destroyed an Iron Man body. Next up is Gravedigger. All these Gravedigger bodies, including Sud and the Legend, uh, can now have their doors open. So that's pretty cool. You just click on the green. And it opens up. Can we do this in first person? Uh, maybe. Not very easily, though. Oh, well. It would have been cool if you could. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to make the legend doors on the back, the tailgate, do it as well. It would be cool, though. Aside from the doors being able to be opened, Gravedigger has not had any changes, so I guess we'll make this fairly quick. It's a very cool thing. Definitely good for, like, intro shows that you record and stuff. I don't see it being used too much, though, but more detail is more detail, and that's always good. I'm sure that's going to be fine there. Next up, Zombie. It has had some progress. The hair is looking good. And we now have a lot more arm positions, either more straight up or more down low like this. And you can select them individually in the parts menu. And I have seen some cool snippets of like the f individual cloth pieces being able to break off without breaking off the body. So that's neat. As soon as zombie is out, I will start working on a dabbing zombie for a meme. It'll be funny. I think I saw someone else working on like custom hands for flipping <laughs> flipping off the audience. It was hilarious when I saw the screenshots. Oh man. So many good ideas, so little time. Oh. Sorry about that. I guess we'll get back to you guys. Good to see they added Harrison on this map. The little hump there. Every time we a driver goes over it, they either end up dying or get carted up into the air. And I guess we died, so. Next up, another new body. El Diablo. Personally, I like the less demon version of El Diablo, the old truck version. But this is also very cool. I saw this truck live quite a few times, and even won a freestyle. So, this has a lot of breakable parts on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. You can pretty much see that even the teeth are individually breakable. Now, I'm not sure how the tongue is J-beamed. I can see a little bit. It's not a too noticeable, though, with that collision triangle viewable there. Bonk. And it can all break very nicely. The funniest bits, though, is if you can break off, like, individual pieces of the teeth. <laughs> you can make it British. Brook or Four Link? I, I'm convinced either this map is brutal, or Four Links have been made weaker to compensate for the stronger steering. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure what I prefer if I like the old design or old breakage better. Rip. El Diablo, very cool. This took a very long time to get right here. I'm not sure if there's going to be any further updates to it. Like, you can usually see where the teeth break with that kind of dark line there. I'm not sure if there's going to be a fix for that, but it still looks and breaks really cool. Next up, this is basically Geo's pride and joy. This is what he started doing before uh, he was a part of the main dev team. He was doing FS1. There's quite a few variants of this, all in the base mod. And 
And personally, I like uh, bed cap trucks, whether that be like Escalade or the F-150s or even other bodies. They just give so much more room to uh, put your art on to be artistic. If you have a body like, say, the F-250 or Ram, you don't have too much room to put your design other than like on the doors and the hood. Because the roof and the bed sides are very thin. There's just not enough room to play around with, in my opinion. So it's good to see another body come out. Uh, the bed capped F-150 here. To give you more art. Basically, it's a larger canvas, if you're a good artist. I don't know if I'll make any new bodies or new paints for this body or body style. But I'm sure somebody will. Oh, okay, what? That seems to just break off all as one piece. I guess that's accurate. But I have seen other bed caps break in multiple spots before, so... Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Next up is a trick that we ruthlessly crushed with Zombie. Emoji Strong. Of course, this truck made by a Make-A-Wish Foundation kid. St. Jude's Research Hospital. And it's cool to see it brought into beam. I personally won't drive it uh, too much, but it is a cool truck for a cool cause. Oof. I escaped. The grabby walls won't take this one away. Aside from that, this is a normal F-150 body on the CRD3 chassis. Just a cool new paint. And last up, another ruthlessly crushed truck uh, is Sasquatch. Yep, this is on the Yeti body. Uh, this paint is not complete yet. Uh, it still has work being done on it, but it's good enough to show off for now. I do want to do more testing on this body, maybe like have a customized face slot that won't be collidable so that you don't have to just hit the brakes and lose your face because that really is like all you need to do oh my or just reversing <laughs> yeah that's that's a bit much but you know the face just hangs so far low I'm not sure there's much that can be done about it I think Predator is similar, the cat body. That is going to about do it for now. I'm pretty sure I missed a couple things or one thing and you know, I'll be poked about it by developer. Uh, but you know, for now, I think this is a good enough preview for what's to come in Shirty 3. Uh, 3.0, I should say. A lot of new bodies, some big fixes to the suspension, tires, and the steering. And of course, all the new paints as well. This is certainly going to be a big update. Will it be the biggest update in history? I think 2.0 will still have it beat in terms of like uh, changes done to the base mod. These are all a lot of bodies, yes. I think 2.0 or maybe it was, yeah, it, was, it had to have been 2.0 that introduced like all the breakable everything with the suspension. I think that was that's still gonna take it as the biggest like 
fundamental update. But this is going to be one of the biggest content updates for sure. If you're hyped, leave a like, favorite, comment, share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe as well to see when this all comes out. I'll see you all in the future. Goodbye, everybody. As for release date, I don't know. Soon-ish, I guess. Goodbye.